I'm Dr. Peter McCullough, and I'm an internist and cardiologist and academic physician, professor of medicine at Texas A&M College of Medicine on the Baylor Dallas campus. Now, over the last year, I've published, and I've managed to get this out despite the, our incredibly difficult publication cycles, I've published 40 peer-reviewed papers on COVID-19. That may be more than anybody in America. So SARS-CoV-2, the virus, and COVID-19 appear to have these special features. And then within a few weeks, we understood uh, pretty clearly that the illness had three major biological features to it. One was early viral replication, where the virus replicates exponentially as other viral infections do, and that uh, it has uh, a, a, a second phase where the immune system is tipped off into a very abnormal maladaptive pattern. So instead of the immune system defending the body, the immune system sends out signals that begin to damage organs, including the heart, the lungs, the kidneys, the brain, uh, the blood system. And then very importantly, the virus itself, through the spike protein or the dangerous um, spicule on the surface of the ball of the virus, the spike protein itself caused coagulation or blood clotting and a unique type of coagulation. It's because it caused the red blood cells to stick together at the same time the platelets stick together. So this is a very different type of blood clotting that we would see with major blood clots in the arteries and veins. For instance, blood clots involved in stroke and heart attack, blood, blood clots involved in major blood vessels in the legs. This was a different type of clotting. And in fact, the Italians courageously did some autopsies and found micro blood clots in the lungs. And so we understood in the end, the reason why the lungs fail is not because the virus is there, it's because micro blood clots are there.